everybody as you can see I'm not wearing any makeup I'm just I'm just winging it today I'm gonna be honest with you don't really want to wear any makeup I want to be a little bit lazy and I've just been so tired tired beyond tired and tired and just tired anywho um hope that you guys liked my blooper video and I hope that you guys liked all my other videos and just sitting down hanging out with you that's kind of what I want to do right now and I will be answering all of your questions for my April Ask Missy so let's get started alrighty so I'm gonna be answering some of the questions from YouTube um, I think that there's a lot more but I couldn't find them and I don't I don't know I don't know I just don't know I haven't really messed with technology for like a, a good month for YouTube, so <laughs> I've kind of been out of the loop, coming right back in. Alright, and Hopi Dopey 76 if you could be a, have a superpower, what would it be and why? I love watching your videos. Um, if I could have a superpower, what would it be and why? Probably invisibility, I think it'd be really cool. I just think that anybody that could have invisibility powers could pretty much like do anything remotely amazing or cool or something you know what I'm saying I think it's just pretty neat that's just kind of my opinion though but here is from um, if I find any more I will actually put that into the video somewhere and yeah it'll be in the video alright at Jennifer dot Santa Marina Maria excuse me um, if I mispronounce your name I'm sorry also I just got up a few minutes ago and I just wanted to film I already put on snapchat all this stuff anyway excuses excuses not really I just I'm tired <laughs> I'll have a video on that too who do you want to collab who do you want to do a collab with who do I want to collab with um well Jennifer if I can call you Jen or Jenny or something um collabs I would like to do more, however, I would like to do them if they don't cost anything. So if you want to collab with me, and just for like whatever reason, for like like clothes or makeup or whatever, if we share same interests and stuff, if you want to do a collab and it won't cost us money, awesome. Um, I'm totally down for something like that. I, I mostly do it on, uh, I do it on a lot of platforms. I try, I try and give it a chance so like if somebody has the same amount of subscribers as I do, them and I can both collab like on YouTube or we'll do it by blog or you know, it's stuff like that. At uh, CBJ underscore 2016, what's your favorite thing to do in the summer? If you could be in any movie or TV show, what would they be? Well, I love watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so... I actually watch love watching all of the Real Housewives TV shows and stuff. So I, I've always I've always enjoyed watching things like that. I don't know why. I just think it's enjoyable. I think it's funny. You never know. You you get to learn a lot about people. But that's that's probably what it would be. Um, favorite thing to do in the summer. I like to go swimming, I like to go hiking, I like to I like to do a lot. I like to do a lot of outdoorsy kind of stuff. I'm hoping to go surfing this year. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but if I go to a beach, you guys will probably know. <laughs> At uh K U W T K underscore King Kylie. I'm guessing keeping up with the Kardashians, underscore King Kylie. Just in case you guys didn't know. Um, what's your best memory from when you were a kid? You know, I don't really remember a lot, a lot, only because I'm still a kid. <laughs> but, uh, at least I feel like I'm still a kid. I don't know. I'm kind of tired of adulting, to be honest with you. You know, doing this, doing that. Um, there's a lot going to Disneyland, you know, things that will always last you a lifetime. Disneyland probably would be number one. At J. Lay, or Lee, it's either J. Lay or Lee, it could go either way. 
underscore grace underscore 26 if you could go back in time what would you change if you could be any animal what would you be if I could be any animal it'd probably be a panda or a giraffe or it would be a cheetah some animal in the savanna or a unicorn I'm just saying technically I am a unicorn at night because I have unicorn pajamas I still have yet to make a video on that See guys, I'm falling behind. Reality kicks in. I'm telling you. Yay for adulting. Yay. Let's see. Uh, go back in time. What would I change? What would I change? What would I change? I don't know what I would change. There's not much that I would change. At Holly S W F C, how did you become on? Oh yeah, on. How did you become a YouTube? Okay, so I'm not I'm not kidding. That's what it really says. It says how do you become a YouTube? Everybody knows. How did I become? And my iPod just dies. You guys, this is this technology. How did I become a YouTuber? Well, I was doing YouTube since 2007, and it was just all for fun and games, haha, -ha, jokey jokey. It was just to keep memories and enjoy my time and such, you know. Um, never meant to make it 100% or, you know, even to gain any subscribers. Like I said, it was just for fun. It wasn't until Later on in 2012 to 2013 when Manda, who is still my friend, and I am still going to be hanging out with her just because you guys don't see us hanging out on uh, video does not mean that we don't hang out in real life. I am going to hang out with her either today or tomorrow, so please don't assume when you don't know. That's it's greatly appreciated, please. Um, but yes, her and I, uh, she told me to take my shot, and so I did, and this is where it's became um i've been i've been just getting so busy in life that it's just it's been hard as a youtuber and to have my own thing going on and then it's just pew 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 adulting you guys it's just adulting that's all i can really say you won't understand all right so this person this next question is from the same person uh underscore dot mandatory 1409 dot underscore and madison under Madison seven underscore underscore these two are the same people but she goes by two different names um, because she has a fan page for Amanda and she had asked me if you could live anywhere in okay if you could live anywhere where you live it says here if you could live anywhere where do you live um and what was your favorite childhood game? Well, if I could live anywhere in the world, I would, I'm assuming it's in the world. I, I don't know if it's just like in the state, but I've been looking around and I think that there's a, a few good places. Um, I was looking at Chicago actually. I, personally, their housing down there is pretty reasonable actually. Um, they're, they're pretty cool over there. You can do almost anything. They do have a little bit stricter laws. They have higher, uh, I don't know how to say it. I'm petting my dog just in case if anybody wants to know why my arm's moving. See, you can see his tail. Um, I, don't know. I got off track because of my dog. Um, but anyways, yeah, they, they do have a little bit more stricter, stricter laws and, and whatnot, but I don't know anywhere probably maybe UK or Ireland Scotland stop it ow, 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 ow. See, look at this this is what I have to deal with ow this is what I have to deal with all the time first time back filming in a month puppy and I got to deal with ow I have to deal with this um, but anyways yeah that's where I would live uh, favorite childhood game. I have so many that I still even play to this day from when I was a kid. Um, 
where uh, you guys are gonna have to deal with the dog because I there's just no way that I can stop and start this continuously um favorite childhood game childhood game ow Toby son chill out man that hurt yeah ow, ow, ow. favorite childhood game of course double dutch that was always fun um uh I still like playing Monopoly. Ow! Um, ow, hide and go seek is a great one. Um, okay. Ow! So, anyways, yep, yeah, that's like, uh, you know, Lava Monster, things like that. At Norena.Survey. Or Severi, or Severi, yeah, I believe. If I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. Um, what's your favorite 80s movie? Oh, man. Does that include all the Disney movies that are from the 80s? <laughs> um, hey, what are you eating, man? Seriously, that's not cool. Gosh. Favorite 80s movies. Mostly Disney. Mostly the Disney movies that came out in the 80s, to be honest. I can't just pinpoint like one movie, it's just... There's a lot. There's a lot. At Tim Edits, when are you going to do a collab? Uh, I'm hoping to do a collab soon if people are interested. Um, and if it's not going to cost us anything, that would be great. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, if anybody wants to do a collab, uh, feel free to email me, and I'll put my email, uh, either on the screen or in my description box below in the video, talking about it and whatnot. You get what I'm saying. Uh, she asked me, I don't know, my camera stopped, like I said, technology, man. Um, would I have a computer or a phone? I have both, so I don't know if it's asking me to choose between. If I had to choose between, it'd probably be a phone because I could have a phone, you know, that's a computer all in one, so I guess that makes sense. Um, at spread underscore the underscore love underscore, or excuse me, at spread underscore the underscore love one, two, three, would you rather have your own clothing line or own makeup line slash brand? Well, look at this, I can't even concentrate because of this dog. Um, I would like to have both eventually, but obviously I've already started on, uh, I, I do have a few makeup products that are uh, done for me, so I mean, I, I guess it, technically I already have my makeup brand-ish that I use through a uh, little stuff for you and stuff and then I just I, I, I buy things from that company I, it's it's a company I truly trust and believe in and put money into as in buying all their stuff will you quit that I don't know what you're doing but stop what it what are you doing you are causing me so much trouble right now buddy stop at You're still, oh wait, yours truly Nyla. What has your recent trips? What has been your recent trips? So recent trips I've taken. Obviously you all know I went to Chicago. Uh, I went to Illinois, the state of Illinois. I went everywhere, man. I seriously did. I went to the heart of Illinois. I went from Lakewood to, um, to Pana, that's what it's actually called, it's P-A-N-A. -A. I went to Arthur, went to Bruce, went to Cowden, went to Chicago, went to Skokie, went to, went to a lot. I went to Eppingham, I went to, you guys, I went to so many. It, I, 
I might have an actual list of where all I went and that's in a video that will be coming soon to let you all know. But that is where I went for two weeks and I enjoyed every bit of it. And it was so cool also seeing all the people that uh, met me there at, at, the, at the place and we actually got to hang out, talk a bit and I thought that was really neat. Even at the mall, I thought that was pretty cool. At underscore Faith Weaver underscore, how long have you known Manda? How did you meet? We have, I've known Manda since 2007 and it's 2016, so that's about eight or nine, probably ten years, maybe more. <clears throat> It'll be, I think, ten years next year, so nine years. Um, and we met in 2007 in our floral design class in high school. At rebel underscore rame, that's R-E-E-M underscore 99, are you and Amanda still friends? Do you have an iPhone? I do not have an iPhone and I probably won't be getting an iPhone. Um, and of course Amanda and I are still friends. Like I said, I'm going to be hanging out with her if not today, then probably tomorrow. And the day that I'm filming this is on a Monday, which this video will probably be out like in a few days. So that kind of gives you how fast I'm doing these videos for everyone. At Siljelina Wa Ah, so that's, yeah, I believe so. Okay. Uh, do you want to be unicorn? I want to be unicorn. I am unicorn. I has unicorn outfits, so I think that entitles me to be unicorn. It's so fluffy! I love unicorns. At Zara underscore underscore Petrie underscore, if you could be an animal, what would you be? I would be a panda. At Sugary Toxic, if you could dye your hair any other color than red, what color would it be and why? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I am still continuing with this red. I like my red and I think it's gonna stay that way. <laughs> As you can see my hair has grown out. Well I have a hair appointment to uh, be getting to and such um, and all of that because I'm gonna be getting another job soon and I'm pretty excited. Yeah, it's awesome. At Maddie.V if you could become a multimillionaire overnight, what would you buy? Um, I would buy stocks and bonds uh, and global fund trading things uh, and put my money towards that. I would also um, give some of it away, probably, more than likely I would. Actually, there, there's no probably. I would give at least 20% of it away and uh, give that to like charities that I can trust that I know that would go to the people or just give it to random people out and about. I, I would do that. At Lessie, Lessie.Dallas, if you, do you own any wigs? If so, how many and what color slash styles? Um, I do have wigs. I have more than one wig. I have about like six or seven. Um, I just don't like parade them all the time. Uh, those are actually for, uh, I've had from cosplay to um, fixing fixing hair because I was in school obviously I would have wigs. Um, I also made extent, my, from some of my extensions I have I made into an actual wig and so I mean I, I've done stuff like that to that degree. Um, the colors that they are, one is obviously my rainbow dash wig and that's uh, the rainbow. Um, I do have one that is purple and black. I have another one that is black. I have another one that is brown. I have another one that is black and white. And then I have um, one that is pink. And then I have one that's like a cotton candy color, a mixture between uh, pink and blue. Uh, that one I'm still working on fixing because there's a lot of stuff I need to do with it. and um, I'm, I'm putting it into the hairstyle that I want it to be, not just long and poofy and stuff, but um, I 
I used it for a uh, Katy Perry outfit once for Halloween uh, for a friend and I let them use it and it wasn't really taken care of correctly when I asked for it to be taken care of. So now I gotta fix it still. But any hoozle. At Twanins dot spams, what's your favorite food? And do you like lip balm? If so, what's your favorite one? Favorite food, I love linguine Alfredo from Red Lobster. That's 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 my favorite, to be honest with you. If anybody wants to know a way to my heart, linguine Alfredo. Red Lobster. That'll get me every time. It's wonderful. Lip balm. I'm not a huge lip balm fan, um, but I do use Burt's Bees. Um, they're, they're lip, do lip, lip balm. See, look at this. I can't, I can't even focus, guys. This is hard. This is super hard. I'm glad that I, I'm doing videos like this, because otherwise I'd have a heck of a time and I'd be so frustrated. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I like Burt's Bees, I do like anything that's spearmint, mint tea of any kind, eucalyptus even. I feel like it, for aromatherapy, it really relaxes you and such. At Danica underscore underscore N, like I said, I, I always think that I love, I, I, I always think that her name is so beautiful, Danica. I love her name. Anyway, I tell her that every single time I see her name or I just, anything. What inspired you to get into beauty and fashion? Love your channel. Um, what inspired me to get into beauty and fashion? Well, I will say this, I have a random thought for fashion. I might not be the best, I can tell you that right now. Um, I might not be like perfect about fashion, I might have different way opposite spectrums. Here I could be wearing beautiful White House Black Market. That's a brand, if anybody doesn't know. That's actually geared towards women that are like in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, I tend to wear those kind of clothing because I just like how it fits me perfect, everything else. Well, and then I can go over and wear Chico's. Well, Chico's is actually for women that are in their 70s, 80s, and 90s. Maybe even 60s and 50s and around that area. Um, but a lot of older women tend to wear those things, but I like them and I wear those. But then you have me on another spectrum where I will wear whatever I have in my closet. Just flat out. I don't care if it goes together or not. Um, uh, I, I do have a lot of nice pieces that are Dolce & Gabbana uh, that I did get way, way back in the day uh, when I was in high school. That was a few years ago. and Not a few years ago, but several years ago. Um, back in 2011 and it's like six years ago holy crap i've been out of school for six years wow guys okay anyway um so dolce gabbana i do have a few pieces from uh it was from like galas i went to for like uh certain organizations from um pup uh pets overpopulation or um like, I don't know if you, any of you have seen, like, stuff about, like, pit bulls and pearlies where they save, like, pit bulls and whatnot and their rescue pets. Um, I've done stuff like that and, and been to things, uh, fashion shows that are, um, kind of nice or even just a nice gathering, things like that. But I actually got them on a really good deal. So, I, I mean, I didn't pay full price for a gown or something like that. That's ridiculous. But, um, things like that. Another thing fashion wise, I do like a lot of vintage clothing. I also like a lot of guy clothing. I tend to be a tomboy when I don't want to dress all nice all the time. I don't want to dress nice all the time. It's not who I am and I would rather dress in what I like dress in what I like than I would and, and, and I'm not here to impress anybody and that's what I, I think throws everybody off is that I tend to dress how I want to and I don't want to impress anybody. I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm here to be me and um, you know, people are like, wow, you say that you like fashion, but yet look at your style, it's, it's trash. And I'm like, well, you know, there's times where I really want to, and there's times where I, I just want to go and put on whatever I want. I can come on here and not wear any makeup, put my hair up all ratty, and not care. Um, I mean, like, 
seriously, I'm wearing pajama pants. Like all YouTubers, uh, we wear pajama pants or shorty shorts. Not always fully clothes and regular t-shirts. But I ended up sleeping in this shirt. I mean, two different things, but they seem to still go together, so it doesn't really matter. I guess as long as there's black on there, it'll go with anything. <laughs> but fashion sense-wise, I can try anything. I am open to trying anything, getting out of my comfort zone. As you guys saw in um, Fab Club Wear, I got things that totally were not me, but a few that definitely were me, and gave them a try. And I still love wearing each and every one of them, and I still wear them all the time. I do. I really do. I love wearing them. So anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Um, I'm going to continue to talk to you guys while I try and find I'll, I'll delete the Instagrammy thingy later once my iPod charges and all that but I can't believe that it just died like that man you know what I'm saying I don't know. it's like why <laughs> oh, let's see I'm trying to find more questions because I know that you guys ask me more questions than what I have. Alright, I'm just going crazy. Alright, well, I guess that's it. You guys commented on a different video, so um, I want to thank you all so much and I love you all. Thank you so much, guys, again. Um, I can't thank you guys any more than I, I pretty much can. Um, Without you, I wouldn't be where I am now. Without you, I probably would still be doing, well, I guess this, but I'm not, I want to, I want to make something clear to everything that you guys mean a lot to me and don't think that whatever you say does not go unnoticed because I do and I acknowledge everything. I might not be able to like comment every single day to everyone, but I do definitely try at least once or twice a day to go through all my comments uh, from YouTube to Instagram to Tumblr to whatever um, to try and contact and get everybody, you know, that asks me questions to answer them and all this other stuff. So um, feel free to even DM me. I do respond to DMs on Instagram and uh, or even Twitter. I do respond on there as well. So if you ever have any questions or want to chit chat, and if I can, I will definitely get back to you within 24 hours. Uh, I try to do my best on that. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Love yourself, love others, and just be thankful for what you have because you never know, and it might be gone the next day. Anyway, all right, guys, I got to film a few more videos, and... I'll probably be wearing this and that's alright. Okay. Bye guys.